Hey man, you wanna go out and take some photos? Yeah, me neither. Let's just uh, play video games for 16 hours straight and eat junk food. Cool. What's up ladies and gents, welcome back. Today we are talking about a couple things you can do if you're feeling uninspired about photography, you just don't feel the need to like get up and go take pictures, but then you get on social media and you're like, oh, I should be taking pictures right now. A couple little tricks you can do, but first, guess who's got mail time? Not me because I'm not that popular. This package just came for me, so I'm gonna open it up with you guys. Podcast microphone, stay tuned. All right, so we're talking about things you can do when you're feeling unmotivated or you know you just don't wanna shoot, whatever it may be. Um, a couple tricks that I use. The first one we're gonna do is just get out there and shoot. There's so much pressure to like create some amazing photograph where there's a beautiful woman floating in the air with after effects in the background and it's a, a cinema graph in the Alps with people flying through on skateboards and a dragon chasing a tiger. No, it doesn't have to be that. Like when you see that kind of stuff and you have to try and live up to that expectation, it's just discouraging. So honestly, get out there and just take shots. That's the game plan for today. I'm gonna get out there, just grab my camera and drive around and if I find something I like or if I see a spot that I wanna shoot, I'm just gonna shoot it. So let's do that. Okay, so for the first time in what feels like six months, it's actually nice enough outside to go shoot. So honestly, just gonna drive around and whatever tickles my fancy, I'll take pictures of without freezing my balls off. All right, so I just pulled up to location number one. It's nothing special. It's literally just a road with a little bit less than usual traffic and I'm just gonna get out. I like the way the trees are hanging over, so I'm just gonna take a couple pics of it. You know, it's not like the most amazing uh, landscapes in the world. It's nothing out of the ordinary, nothing you don't see every day, but I like it, so I'm gonna shoot it, and that's what it's all about. Now, another thing that I feel can help when you're sort of having this creative block or you're not really feeling motivated, selective equipment. So what you're gonna do is pick a camera, pick one lens, and that's it. I know I'm technically traveling with two cameras and two lenses, but I'm not using my 1DX. I'm only using my old school Canon T3i. This thing's like 10 years old and my 185 millimeter lens. Is the 85 the best choice for what I'm shooting? Probably not, but I told myself that I'm gonna come out, pick the 85 and just take shots with it. What I get is what I get. So that's another thing that can help you get out of that mindset. There's always like this, I need this lens, I need this camera, I need this gear to make this shot and to pull this off. Get out of that mindset and just have fun. Just screw around. Like even if you go out and take 500 horrible pictures, it's better than doing nothing. You might get that one picture and you might get out of that slump that you're feeling. So I'm just gonna keep taking pictures with this bad boy. Also, it's kind of funny that this lens is bigger and heavier than the whole body of the camera. It's weird in the hand. So to further my point of just shooting anywhere, as I was driving, I found this like cool little path and I'm like, you know what? There's like a sick light on it. Check this out, right? There's like a sick light in the middle of this path. I'm like, that'd be a sick spot for a self portrait. So in the spirit of sticking to my word and you know, doing what I said I was gonna do, shooting with the one lens, one camera, I'm gonna try and take a self portrait without using a tripod, without using the 1DX, cause it is pretty tempting. And let's see how it turns out. As you can see, I've got the camera perched up on an LCBO bag I just found. For those non-Canadians watching, LCBO is a liquor store. And it's pointed at the spot I want, which is right over there. And I literally just have it on a 10 second timer and I've been sprinting back and forth.
This is great exercise. Now, one final thing to kind of get you out of that rut, or you know, if you're not motivated, to give you a little bit more motivation, is to kind of detach yourself from social media. Stay away from it. Stay away from what other people are doing in terms of like photography projects or you know photos you see on Instagram because a lot of work goes into a lot of those photos and it can be discouraging to see someone's like expertly crafted photo when you're just feeling down and out about it. So ignore all that stuff and get out and just keep shooting like I did today. I think if you can do all three of those things, it'll definitely help you when it comes to getting motivated to shoot again. And uh, there you have it folks. So, you know, get out and just shoot. Limit yourself in terms of what equipment you're carrying and bringing with you on the shoot. And just ignore everyone else. Do your thing, just have fun with it. Honestly, those things seem to work for me and I hope they work for you guys too. If you found it helpful and if it does actually work, hit that subscribe button, you know. Thanks Dan, you know, you, whatever you were talking about, it helped. So, thanks for that. Leave a like on the video and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Love ya. Stupid banana. Hate this.